Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're going to go over how to create a Git repository, also known as a Git repo. So what exactly is a Git repo? A Git repo is basically where you're going to keep all your programming files that you want Git to keep track of. Okay, let's say I have a folder called my project one. And in here, I'm going to have all of my, let's say, all of my code. You know, it could be your Java files, or if you're working with Python, it'll be your .py files, XML files, picture files, anything that make up your project. Okay, it'll go, it'll all go in here. I'm gonna open. Uh, git bash inside of this my project one folder and one thing I want to point out is that I right clicked inside of here I clicked on git bash and you'll see that it automatically points to that folder and that's very important because any git command that I type in here will only affect the stuff that is inside of the directory that it is currently pointing to. Okay, so just to give you another example, if I create another folder called my project two, and I open that, right click inside, and open a new instance of git bash, you'll see that this one is pointing to my project two. So anything I type in here will only affect the stuff inside of the my project two folder. Anything I type in here will only affect the stuff in the my project one folder. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I know it might seem um, kind of simple, but it does make a difference. It's very important to make sure that it is pointing in the right directory. Anyway, back to the example, let's say that we have our code here, right? How is Git supposed to know that it's supposed to keep track of the changes inside of my project one? instead of, say, the changes in my project two, or the downloads directory, or folder, or um, documents directory. How does it know which files to keep track of? Well, every project needs to have what's called a .git folder. Okay, it's basically, it basically means that if you want Git to keep track of a project, you need to initialize Git inside of it. So let me show you how that works. Again, this is pointing to my project one. So I will type in Git init. Okay, and init is short for initialize. So if I press enter, you'll see that it generated this dot git folder on there. Okay. Now, if we go inside of it, there's a bunch of stuff on here that is a little bit too advanced for this video. But the point is, is that we've initialized git inside of here. And now all changes that we make will be kept track of by Git. Now, if you've done Git in it, Git in it, okay. So if you ran that and you don't see the dot Git folder, chances are your hidden folder settings is turned off. If you want to turn it on, you go to File, then Change Folder and Search Options. Go to the View tab. 
and then down here you click on show hidden files folders and drives I'm going to go ahead and just turn it off because that's actually the default and we don't even need to see this dot git folder there's no reason for us to go inside and make changes if we do need to make changes we can actually do it all from here from the git bash window using git commands okay all right so any changes I make here whether it's deleting a file adding a file or modifying a file all of that will be kept track of inside of that git folder okay all right if I were to make changes in my my project too obviously right now nothing will be kept track of because git has not been initialized here if I also want to initialize git here for its own separate project again I have to right click inside open a new instance of git bash simply type git in it press enter and it's initialized git within this folder again we can't see that dot git folder because of the uh, hidden folder settings so if you want to turn that on go to file change folder and search options go to view show hidden files folders and drives click OK and you'll see that here's the dot git folder for my project 2 here's the dot git folder for my project 1 so hopefully that clears up some of the um, questions behind the scoping of get all right and um, yeah that's all for this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one take care